This is an ellipses. Au dixième jour d'expérience, des images commencent à sourdre, comme des aveux. Un matin du temps de paix. Une chambre du temps de paix. Une vraie chambre. De vrais enfants. De vrais oiseaux. De vrais chats. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. This is the planet Earth, newly born and cooling rapidly from a temperature of 6,000 degrees to a few hundred in less than five billion years. The heat rises, meets the atmosphere, the clouds form, and rain pours down upon the hardening surface for countless centuries. The restless seas rise, find boundaries, are contained. Now, in their warm depths, the miracle of life begins. In infinite variety, living things appear and change and reach the land, leaving a record of their coming, of their struggle to survive, and of their eventual end. The record of life is written on the land, where 15 million years later, in the upper reaches of the Amazon, man is still trying to read it. <laughs> What that is, Dr. Maia? I don't know, Luis. I have never seen anything like this before. 
It's important. From this distant vantage point, the earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives the aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Ho imparato Vignardi, cioè quel mio vivere in maniera molto interiore le cose, cioè evidentemente il mio sguardo verso le cose del mondo, verso gli oggetti, è uno sguardo non, non, non naturale, non laico, vedo sempre le cose come un po' miracolose, ogni oggetto per me è miracoloso, cioè ho una visione in maniera sempre informe, diciamo così, non confessionale, ma in certo, in certo modo religiosa del mondo. Ecco perché investo questo questo, questo mio modo di vedere le cose anche nelle mie opere. E questa signora entrò per comprare una lampada a te e io fui attenderla e ela chiamò un garotino, chiamò do caro, o caro stava parato na porta da loja, chiamò il garotino, olha, meu filho, esse homem aí foi que fez o Brasil chorar. Mas eu fiz... Não sei ao certo se foi para mudar o destino desse homem ou se para salvar a minha própria vida, que programei a máquina para aquele dia. Minha fé e minha infância foram soterradas pelo gol de Didia. Eu agora iniciava uma viagem ao centro do meu pesadelo.